Kate and Moo here are gonna help show how to do some blood draw techniques. So there are multiple different ways that we can get blood from rabbits. Um, so I'm gonna, the safest vessel that we usually go for is kind of your lateral saphenous vein um, along the outside of the leg there. So for that type of hold, um, we do need them to be secure. So what Kate's gonna do is she's gonna go ahead and put her hand under Moo's chest here gently turn him and you can see how she's using her body to have Moo up against her and so Moo she's using kind of the the basic hold along the arms here where you just have your um, pointer finger in between the legs so right here and then the rest of your hand just gently resting along the chest area and then the rest of the body rests along Kate and then she's able to take her other hand and to be able to hold off on that leg. So if you notice that she's holding off above the knee, so the knee is right here, okay? So she do wanna hold off above the knee. Rabbits in general, their vessels, I always recommend feeling for them first. And so I can feel the vessel right here. They are placed differently than where a dog or a cat would be. And so the vessel kind of runs right along here, along the back of the leg, and then it branches over here. So it is more caudal and dorsal than you expect that vessel to be. But this way, in this position, you can use a needle to go ahead and do a blood draw from this direction. Another way to draw blood, if kind of the in the air method is something that's a little bit difficult for you, you can try something that's on a, on a stable surface like a table. Always use um, something like a towel in between the table so that there's no slipping. But you do this very similar to how you would do a cat. So you take that same kind of hold along the chest that you do for a lot of the other holds and then just put them along the lateral side of the table here. So the support is coming from the table and then Kate is still able to go ahead and hold off above the knee. So the knee is right here along the leg. She's able to hold off on that vessel above the knee and then you can feel for the vessel before you even put any alcohol on the vessel and the vessel sits right here. So again it is more caudal than you expect it to be and usually a little bit closer to the knee as well when, when we're talking about where it's crossing over and easiest to see. One of the last ways to draw from that lateral saphenous vein is a tabletop method as well, but with the leg hanging off of the table. This is something that sometimes takes a little finesse. Um, it is a way where the leg just kind of dangles, but there are some things that you need to take precaution of because they will have the ability still to jump off the table if you're using it. So Kate's gonna demonstrate. So she's just kind of gently lifting up along the chest moving Moo right on over to the side of the table here. And you can see that Moo's leg is on the table, but then we are hanging the other leg off of the table. When you're drawing for blood, you wanna make sure that you are holding off above the knee. So the knee of Moo is right here. And then the vessel is gonna be way in the back over here. So make sure that you feel for it before you put any alcohol on that vessel. Um, because it can sometimes feel like hair, but it is right back here and then somebody can draw the blood from this angle here. Again, the big thing that you need to make sure of if, if Moo decides to jump, then it is something that obviously the whole, whole animal will move. Um, so this is a, just another way that you can do the blood draw. Now we're gonna demonstrate how to draw blood on a rabbit. Obviously, sometimes on overnights or during the day, we're gonna need to get some blood on certain animals, and a rabbit is a very common animal that we're gonna need to get blood on. It is a little bit different than a dog or a cat. Normally, we're going for the lateral saphenous vein, and Kate and I are gonna demonstrate not only where that vessel is, but also the hold for that vessel, which there's other um, ways to hold, but we're gonna do kind of the in the air on the body um, hold. When you're drawing blood for that vessel, I usually either get just a one mil syringe with that 25, 24 gauge needle, or an insulin syringe works as well. So today we'll go ahead and use this one for this bunny. You do wanna make sure that you have some alcohol as well as a light green and a purple top tube. 
These are easy to run on the Abaxis and our in-house machines or a send out one. All right, so Kate's gonna go ahead and hold Moo here in the position that was described earlier. So this is something where she's got him supported against her body. She's holding above the knee here and just supporting the front end. When finding the vessel, I strongly recommend you guys to go ahead and feel for the vessel before you actually put alcohol on it. When you're feeling for the vessel without alcohol on the skin already, it's usually really easy to feel. If you put alcohol there, sometimes even fur that's clumped in the alcohol can feel like a vessel. So I, as I stated before, it is something that they are usually more caudal than you expect it to be. So I feel that vessel right here. So I'm just gonna put some alcohol there. And then we're gonna separate the fur. And so you can see that vessel right there. Okay. And it does split as you go down, but this is the area that I like to go ahead and do that blood draw with. Now that we've got a really good view of our vessel here, we're gonna go ahead and go right in. It is very superficial, so I usually gently hold along the leg and support my thumb over here. And then always go ideally bevel up. And so you wanna do just a little poke right under the skin here. And let's see if we're in, it looks like I'm just to the side of it, so we'll kind of redirect a little. And there you are. Sometimes I find it helpful to kind of angle your needle down against the body. If you're angling it up, sometimes you're actually not able to get um, the blood or it doesn't flow as nicely. So this was a great blood draw. And then Kate's just gonna hold off, gently pull off, and go ahead and put those in the tubes. Kate's gonna continue to hold on that vessel, and hopefully we don't need a little Band-Aid, but obviously if you do need a Band-Aid, please feel free to put one there. Just remember that that Band-Aid will need to come off. When rabbits sit, you won't be able to see the Band-Aid. It's kind of hidden. All right, so we've got a great blood sample from Moo here and did very well. And then we'll just kind of check that area See if he needs a little band-aid. So barely even a bruise there. It looks really good and no, no hematoma. So he's good to go.